So in today's video, it's going to be a little bit of an opinion, and we're going to be talking about whether scent works or not. It's a very controversial topic. There's a lot of people that think scent makes all the difference in the world, and then there's some people that think scent does absolutely nothing at all. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some of my anecdotal experiences as, as well as a little bit of scientific to back up whether scent works or not. So the anecdotal experience, you know, and an anecdotal for you guys that don't know what it means, it just means something personal to me, an experience that happened to me. It's been many, many years ago, and it's actually the first kayak tournament that I ever won. And so I showed up to this kayak tournament, and unfortunately, a guy got to the spot that I wanted to fish before I did. And he was really nice. I asked him, I said, hey man, do you mind if I just fish behind you here? And you know, I'm going to fish some of your used water, but these are the areas that I wanted to fish. He said, dude, absolutely, come on, hang out with me, let's go fishing. And it ended up being a really cool experience because it just showed how, you know, being super nice on the water can lead to friendships and ended up forming a friendship with that guy over the years. And so as we're fishing down through there, like I said, he's fishing in front of me the whole entire time and I'm fishing his used water. He is throwing a Gary Yamamoto Cinco, just the original Cinco in Junebug. He's throwing it on 10 pound fluorocarbon, wacky rig style, all pretty much the same exact setup that I'm throwing it on in the same exact areas. While I was throwing a Berkeley Max Scent General in Junebug, same exact size, same exact setup. We were actually even throwing it on the same exact hook. And so he fished through that area and ended up getting no bites. And I really didn't have a lot of confidence, to be totally honest with you. I thought, man, these fish aren't here. They've moved. The fish that I found in practice are gone. But what was absolutely crazy is that he fished up this bank, and I probably gave him a 100-yard berth to let him really fish that area good. And then I moved him right behind him with that Berkeley Max Scent General and started skipping it up around the same trees and the same areas that he was and started getting bots. And not only was I getting bots, but I was getting tournament winning bots. And like I said, it was the first kayak tournament that I ever ended up winning. And I won it literally fishing used water all day long with a Berkeley Max Scent Bait versus his original Gary Yamamoto Cinco. Now again, that's an anecdotal experience to me, but it's an anecdotal experience that's repeated itself over and over and over. There's been so many times where I've got guys flipping in front of me with traditional creature style baits that don't have any scent in them, and I go behind them with either a Max Scent or a Power Bait, things that have that scent infused into it and kind of have that scent cloud that comes off of it, and I've been able to put fish into the boat when they haven't. And it's kind of a crazy experience to experience something like that, to see something that when your confidence is like zero, that somebody's fishing the area in front of you go to 100 just because you're throwing a scented bait and they're not. It was just an absolutely insane experience. Now here comes some of the scientific data. So many weeks back, I went into the Berkeley Science Symposium down in Houston, Texas. And they brought me in and a couple other influencers and we kind of got to experience just the science that Berkeley is doing when it comes to catching fish. And Mark Sexton is the lead biologist over there. And he is a really cool dude with a really incredible mind. And he was sharing some of the experiences that they had had in data collection over at Berkeley Labs. And they have tens of thousands of data points on all kinds of different bass, all kinds of different species with all kinds of different lures and scents and tastes and all those different things. But the scent one was the most fascinating one. And the why it was so fascinating is because Mark said that scent is the only thing that goes directly to the bass's brain. So it literally passes through their olfactory system. So a bass does have a nose. It goes through their olfactory system and goes straight to their brain. And so what he said is through thousands and thousands of data points and different tests that they had done, that they had noticed that with bass, that scent can be the difference between whether they eat something or not, and that scent can really determine whether a fish is active or not at all. And that when they would introduce just a little bit of scent into the water. I forgot the exact statistic, but it was like a crazy small fraction of amount to the amount of water that was in. Those bass not only could detect it, but it would turn those bass on, meaning it would like activate their predatory instinct and make them want to kill. And so with all that information being out there, I'm gonna ask you guys, have you had any experience with scented baits and what is your experience with them? I know my experience with them has been a positive. It's gonna be something that I've always got in the boat. I mean, laying all around me here is all kinds of different power bait. Stuff like the Max Scent for me has made a huge difference in my fishing life and has put a lot of fish into the boat for me. And so it's gonna be something that I rely on. And one thing that I can say about the scented baits is, you know, 
what if it helps just a little bit? What if it's just that extra little thing that you need? You know, whether it's fish a traditional bait or a scented bait, maybe it makes no difference at all, or maybe it makes a huge difference. But if it makes a difference, would you rather have that tied on or something that doesn't make a difference? So if you want to see this stuff in action, click this video right here. It's actually that tournament I ended up winning. You guys can see the full thing here.